manhunt this morning underway for a Mississippi man suspected in the disappearance of a Tennessee mother and her three daughters. The suspect had been friends with them for years. Now, as Jim Axelrod reports, he has been linked to at least two suspicious deaths. This is the case of the 2012 Bain murder kidnappings. On April 27, 2012, Joe and Bain and her eldest daughter were murdered in Whiteville, Tennessee, and the woman's two younger daughters were kidnapped by Adam Christopher Mays, an Alpine, Mississippi man who had known the family for many years. Adam Christopher Mays, born September 2, 1976, was the youngest of six children of Johnny and Mary Frances Mays. His mother described him as violent and controlling from an early age. He and his wife Teresa lived with his parents in a mobile home in Alpine, Mississippi. Mays' mother-in-law, Josie Tate, stated that she had repeatedly called police to complain about domestic violence committed by Mays against his wife, Teresa. May's sister described him as aggressive and untrustworthy, but never thought he would commit such a serious crime. Mays was friendly with the Bain family of Whiteville, Tennessee, and was a frequent visitor to the house. During the manhunt for Mays, his mother-in-law gave extensive interviews to media outlets and claimed Mays believed that he was the father of the two younger girls. I can't yes. imagine working my whole life, literally my fingers to the bone, to try to raise my daughter and her getting tangled up with somebody like Adam Mays. What do you have to say tonight to him if he's listening? Adam, please turn yourself in wherever you are. Turn those children in safely and unharmed. Joan Bain was the mother of three daughters, Adrian born in 1997, Alexandria born in 1999, and Kalia born in 2004. Her first husband, Mark Johnson, the biological father of Adrian and Alexandria, signed over his legal rights to the girls to Joe and second husband, Gary Bain, in 2011. Gary Bain had previously been married for 20 years to Adam May's eldest sister, Pamela. They divorced in 2002. Mays had stayed friendly with Bain and was a frequent visitor to the home. And before this case, Mays had been under investigation for domestic abuse and was accused of molesting a seven-year-old girl he babysat in 2010. On April 27, 2012, a day before Adam Christopher Mays was supposed to help the Bain family move to Arizona, Mays allegedly killed Joe and Bain and her oldest daughter Adrian and kidnapped the two younger girls, Alexandria and Kalia. Gary Bain came home late that night and assumed his family members were sleeping. Only when he could not reach his wife by cell phone and his daughters did not return from school the next day, did he report them missing. On May 9, 2012, Mays was added to the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives, having replaced James Whitey Bulger on the list. The following day, he and the two girls were spotted in a heavily wooded area. During the capture attempt, Mays reportedly shot himself in the head and later died from his wounds. The two girls were rescued unharmed. 
After days of looking all around the Alpine community for Adam Mays, the search finally hit a bullseye at an area scoped all week near the Zion Hill Baptist Church. Suddenly, authorities say Mays near Alexandria and Kalia Bain, the two girls he kidnapped, made a desperate measure. That's when they took his life and, and the kids were rescued. At approximately 8.17 p.m., uh, the body of Adam Mays was pronounced dead. Union County Sheriff Jimmy Edwards said it was promptness of all law enforcement that led to rescuing the young children. Now, after days on days of tireless efforts by almost 20 agencies, that hard work has paid off. Mays was interviewed by police officers about the Baines' disappearance on April 29th. He told police he was the last to see the mother and daughters, but police found no evidence of a crime. On April 30th, Joe and Bain's SUV was found abandoned on a country road in Tennessee. Mays was last seen in Guntown, Mississippi, on May 1st and on May 2nd he was declared a person of interest in the case, though police still did not suspect a crime. On or around May 4th, Teresa Mays reportedly told police that her husband had killed Joe and an Adrian in the Baines garage and that the bodies were buried behind his mobile home. On May 5th, investigators uncovered two badly decomposed bodies from a shallow grave behind the mobile home. They were identified as the bodies of Joe and an Adrian on May 7th. Mays and the two girls were missing for over a week when on May 10th, Acting on a tip, Mississippi Highway Patrolmen and State Fish and Wildlife Officers searched a heavily wooded area behind the Zion Hill Baptist Church, one and a half miles from May's home in Alpine. Officers saw one of the children peeking over a ridge, then spotted the second child, then saw May's. The officers told him to put his hands up. He raised only one hand and officers saw a gun in the other. Mays then head with a 9mm pistol. The Union County Sheriff said emergency medical technicians transported Mays via ambulance to Baptist Memorial Hospital, New Albany, Mississippi, in critical condition. The county coroner pronounced Mays dead at 8.20 p.m. When police found the trio on May 10th, the girls said that they had been in the forest for three days without food or water. They were dehydrated and had rashes from poison ivy and insect bites. After May's death, the girls were sent to a Memphis hospital, treated, and released. May's body, after being left unclaimed and refused by family members, was donated to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville's body farm in June 2012. May's wife Teresa was charged with murder and kidnapping and faced the death penalty. Her mother claimed that Adam had coerced and brainwashed the intellectually challenged Teresa into abetting his crimes. On May 21st, the charges against May's mother, Mary, were changed from four counts of conspiracy to commit especially aggravated kidnapping to two counts of especially aggravated kidnapping. Investigators believe that she can find the two girls after her son and his wife drove them from their Tennessee home to the Mays, Mississippi home. The court ordered a psychological evaluation of both Mary and Teresa Mays and rescheduled their first hearing for June 19th. On October 1, 2012, Teresa Mays appeared in a Hardeman County General Sessions court hearing while a statement that she had given to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation during her husband's disappearance in May was read to the court. In the statement, Teresa claimed that Adam had planned the kidnappings and murders a year in advance due to his romantic interest in Alexandria Bain, then age 12. 
With our first real look at the two Mississippi women charged in the kidnapping and murder of Joanne Bain and her three daughters. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Douglas. This was the only glimpse of Teresa and Mary Frances Mays we've had. Teresa Adam Mays' wife, Mary Frances' mother, Adam Mays, of course, the man who committed suicide after he reportedly killed Joanne Bain and 14-year-old Adrian, then kidnapped the two youngest daughters. Hearing, we expected to learn more about the roles these two women allegedly played in Adam Mays' deadly plot. Development in the case, two additional counts of aggravated kidnapping were filed against Mary Frances who already was charged with four counts of conspiracy to commit especially aggravated kidnapping. Teresa Mays remains charged with two counts of first degree murder and two counts of aggravated kidnapping. Their new court date is June 19th. Adam sold his motorcycle to pay for the kidnapping and forced Teresa to remain hidden in their car during two aborted attempts to kidnap Alexandria and her younger sister. Killala, on April 25th and 26th, 2012. On the night of April 26th, she told officials that Adam attempted to kill the girl's father, Gary Bain, by giving him two tequila sunrise cocktails laced with Visine and other prescription drugs. On the night of the murders, Teresa told investigators that Mays told her to drive around with the two younger girls, Alexandra and Killala. She said that when she returned, her husband was outside the Bain house with two bodies wrapped in a tarp. He later told Teresa that he had entered the Bain house, woke Joe and, and told her to come out to the shop by the house because Killala was sleepwalking. Once in the shop, May said that he hit Joe and with a board and strangled her with a rope. Afterward, he smothered Adrian, age 14. Teresa and her husband drove the two younger girls and the two corpses to Guntown, where Adam buried the bodies in his mother's backyard. The FBI says two bodies found behind a rural Mississippi home are those of a mother and her oldest daughter who were in the process of moving back to southern Arizona. Agents also say two surviving girls are with the man who owns the property where those bodies were found. On August 9th, the two women were sentenced in conjunction with a plea bargain. Teresa Mays was sentenced to 35 years and her mother-in-law, Mary Mays, to 13 and a half years for their parts in the kidnappings and murders. In 2016, both Mary and Teresa Mays were moved to the Women's Therapeutic Residential Center within West Tennessee State Penitentiary due to good behavior. Oh. I'm better. I'm glad that I finally did go to trial or finally got sentenced and finally left the county jail and got here where it's a better environment. I mean, I don't have, to, I've moved past it. At times, yes, I do sit there and I do think about why did he do it? And everybody will come to me, why? And I could not tell you why he did it. It's up to me. He, he was crazy. I mean, that's all I mean. You were married to him for, what, 10 years? 11 years? Mm -hmm. Very abusive. He beat you. Very abusive, yes. He choke slammed me. He choked me, grabbed me by my throat, throw me on the bed. Throw me up against the wall, hit me, anything. 